The name Primate Adili, we know is very familiar and within um, the political space. I'll use it that way because he prophesies about um, current happenings, about things to happen in the country, about President Mohamed Buhari's administration, uh, politics. Chance APC PDP governors as well, and you know, a lot of people, and there are two sides of the divide, they perceive him um, differently. Some people feel that um, he's just uh, a political analyst, that's not a true prophet, and some people see him as uh, a true prophet, uh, as um, his prophecies come to pass. You know, yesterday he's um, just uh, he's spoken regarding prophecies in the country, he's spoken about that, and he has uh, uh, made mention. Of the names of um, true prophets in the country you know it's not only primate Adili um that prophesies recently it was um about um a week ago that primate Adili called out on um uh, umbaka reverend father umbaka the reverend father umbaka's fake prophecies that put us in the situation where we are now in the in, in the state where we are specifically he spoke regarding um emo state the crisis um, going on in Imo State, you know, the attack here and there and everything, and even who opposed Odima's uh, um, leadership, you know, not everyone in Imo State have accepted him as the true governor of that state, he's a supreme governor, and he stated that Reverend Father Mbaka uh, is part of the, 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 the problem, his, his fake prophecies has cost them all of this we're experiencing. Right now, he names um, true prophets in Nigeria. We'll bring all of that to you shortly but before we do my beautiful people please guys don't forget to like share and to subscribe press the bell as well god bless you the leader of inri evangelical spiritual church primate elijah yardili has addressed people on the true meaning of prophecy and why they are important in our world today he gave the sermon during a live service in his church on sunday while explaining how god speaks to people to prophesy about some things According to Ayodele, prophecies can be made on any aspect of life as there is nothing God isn't interested in about what happens in the life of any man. He stated that sometimes people take predictions and see them as prophecies. He points that there are two different things as anyone can predict, but prophecy is a gift from God. Ayodele said there is difference between prophecy and prediction. Anyone can predict, but prophecy is a gift from God. It can go in different ways. There can be prophecies on any aspect of life. God can speak to you about anything. God spoke to prophet Hezekiah to speak to bones. God spoke to prophet Samuel to pick who will lead Israel, even when the people misbehaved and wanted their own choice, just like we have it now in Nigeria. We only wanted change. We didn't ask from God on whom he wants for us. And we can see the result. I want to say that it's not a must you believe in prophecy, but our, our lives are more spiritual than physical. And that is the essence of prophecy. God has given some people power to foresee through dreams, hearing, visions. Whatever you see manifests in the physical has happened in the spiritual realm. Before the birth of Jesus, it has been prophesied in the book of Isaiah that a king will be born and he will have authority on his church. Several people spoke about his coming. Prophecy has changed lives. The situation we are in in the world has been prophesied, including COVID-19 that struck the world. God is not someone who gives prophecies without solution, and that is why I always ask us to pray whenever I give these warnings. I do my own prayers. God wants me to say it to the world, and that is why I do it. Joshua was one of those whom God spoke to through dreams. God spoke to Jacob through dreams. We have several prophets in the Bible. I'm saying this because you need a prophet in your life. I've seen many irregularities that make prophets not to talk in one voice. Everyone wants to be a prophet of his own, but there are several prophets in the world who speak the heart of God. A prophet will tell you about impending danger and how to avert them in the Lord. It could just be to take a step. It could be to sing before the Lord. The man of God lamented that, World leaders and Nigerians have berated God and his prophets, blaming that as the reason behind the predicament currently faced by the world at large. Primate Adele said, God speaks to those he has chosen as his prophets. Nigerians have berated God. World leaders have berated God. Individuals have berated God. And that is why we are facing what we are now globally. God can use anyone, but there are people who are prophets of note, integrity and pedigree. Also, there are differences between prophets, bishops, pastors, and apostles. 
While speaking on where to find true prophets, Primate Adili revealed that there are so many of them in the world and they can be seen in lots of churches. He then went on to mention the names of some of those he remembers as true prophets of God in Nigeria. He said, we have many prophets that when they speak, it comes to pass. Joshua Ingila is a prophet. Primate Ola Boyo is a prophet. Apostle Suleiman Omotosho Tokwe Joseph Osi Telu. These are prophets of note that I can remember. They speak the heart of the Lord to the people. They are true prophets of God. We have prophets in churches. We have in Celestia, Pentecostal, CAC, and others. They speak in tongue and prophesy. You don't need to blaspheme the Holy Spirit by opposing the prophet. Prophecies are to guide against danger things to come. That is the essence. Some people go in trance, even the traditional worshippers. Some use water, some use crystal ball. They have medium where they can see. But there are people who hear directly from God. These are the prophets I'm talking about. We also have prophetess. So he, this is his um, sermon. I don't know if he's coming on the backdrop of uh, the way Nigerians have been reacting to his prophecies. You know, I said uh, some persons believe that um, he's just uh, uh, he just predicts. He's just a political analyst. He sees the way things are going. Then he um, just uh, analyzes or predicts what will happen eventually at the end of the day. Because um, right now he's, he's stating that... Uh, there are few true prophets he knows, and he mentioned their names. <laughs> this one is interesting. Nigerians have started reacting and attacking him. Someone stated that and you forgot Father Mbaka, the only true prophet in Nigeria. Another one says that, uh, um, Sir, are there no prophets in the East or North? Are you saying only Yoruba land produce prophets? Well, we know what we have these days. Everyone is a prophet. You know, the churches, there are churches everywhere. And as soon as um, they set up one, they call themselves prophet to see a lot of things. But we're in the end times. These are times that um, one needs to hold through um, to God. So this is sermon now um, regarding prophecies. I don't know, most probably, uh, maybe uh, it's for Nigerians to begin to see him on a different light because... Um, he has listed those who are true prophets and it's very interesting the names he he listed just a few of them i don't know why he listed only those few there are other prophets we know as well who prophesize against uh uh prophesize about happenings in the country anyway guys let's hear your own take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye